Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's educational videos. Today we're going to be talking about how to size an image uh, and crop an image for the silver frames. So the first thing we're going to want to do is use the rectangular marquee tool, which is this guy right here, to crop the image instead of the crop tool. We don't want to use the crop tool for this um, because we're going to be using this uh, tool right here and that is the style. Instead of normal, we're going to change it to fixed ratio. Now the silver frames are 28 inches on the long side and 22 inches on the short side. In this case, I have a horizontal image, so I'm going to plug in 28 by 22. But if you had a vertical image, you would plug in 22 and 28 instead. And I'm going to make a selection here, and this is going to be end up being my crop. I'm going to click and drag the selection. And here's a note. Uh, one of the issues with the rectangular marquee tool is that you can actually make the rectangular marquee selection bigger or smaller after you made it, like you can with a crop tool. So I'm not super happy with this crop right now, so I can hit Command D, or Select Deselect, that's this shortcut right there, Command D, to get rid of it, and then I can make another selection. Or if you want to kind of do this on the fly, you can just hold the space bar before you let go of the rectangular marquee tool when you're clicking and dragging and you can just move it around I haven't let go of the mouse this whole time and I can get that selection to be more or less wherever I want it to be. So I'm going to drag that down a little bit and maybe something like that. Once I let go I'm going to go image crop to finish the crop. Command D to get rid of the selection one more time. Now I know that my width if I were to resize it to 28 then the height would automatically adjust to 22 because I've set that fixed ratio now. So let's go into the image image size and see if that's true. If we plug in 28, there it is, exactly 22 inches. But because we want a white border around the image, what we're going to do is actually make an adjustment to the size and then use the canvas size extension tool to add the size back in. So we're going to change the width. In this case, we're going to change it to 20. And let's just let the height go where it is. It's 15.714. If we plug in 16, you know, we get some random number up here if we plug in 15. I don't know if we're going to ever get, um, unless we did 14, because um, that's, you know, if we divided uh, 28 by 2, then we'd get a straight number here. But um, unless, I don't think we're, any other number combination is going to get us a, 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 an exact number, which is fine. So let's just go ahead and plug in 20 inches for the width. Let the height fall to wherever it is. And then let's change the resolution here to 300. Now, if we change the resolution to 300, which is our normal printing resolution, you can see that if we look at the pixel dimensions up here, it was 30, and now it's 80, which is much bigger. It's uh, over twice as big. And so, in this case, let's make an adjustment to our resolution. We can say that 240 pixels per inch is the minimum needed. Usually, we go with 300 because we're going to get a little bit of a better quality print. But here it is, 30M, and now we're at 51M. So we're making it bigger, but not quite as much. Um, in this case, we want to be sure to make sure that we choose bicubic smoother, which is best for enlargement. We know it's getting bigger because it was 30 and it's now 50. But if for some reason this was 60 and now it's 50, we would choose bicubic sharper, best for reduction. So we choose best for enlargement. The photo is going to get a little bit bigger, but we're not quite done yet. The final step is to go to image canvas size. And we're going to choose the canvas extension color white. And then we're going to plug in now the 28 inches by 22 inches. We want to make sure that this is centered. If we put it up here, it would not look right. So we center it. And we want to make sure that the relative is unchecked. This is the final size. And so what it's going to do is going to center this picture in this dimension 22 by 28. We click OK. And you can see now if I hit Command 0, if I hit the F key, We've got a nicely centered image. It's going to look nice in the frame. This is going to give us the right border dimensions for the frame that we're looking to print for. And we can crop it down later. Um, this canvas extension color being white makes it so that the printer knows not to put any ink on that. It knows it's completely white and it's not going to put any ink down. So we're going to have a nice clear frame. Now, some people will actually add a black border sometimes around this image. Sometimes we'll write a name in down here. Um, those are things that we can do maybe later. Let's worry about just getting this far for now. And that's how you're going to extend the canvas and size for the silver prints.